Mars, uh, you have uh, some announcements for us as well, don't you? Are these the stand-up announcements? Is that what these we're talking about? These are some stand-up announcements. Ooh, yes. I am uh, doing a great show with Chris Bonaparte at uh, from Premium Comedy. He's doing, uh, I think he does monthly shows in Newmarket, Ontario, which is about an hour-ish north of Toronto, uh, at a club called Sociable. Uh, I don't know if the tickets are available yet, but it's December 17th. I believe it's an 8 p.m. show. So anyone who's in the Newmarket, Barry, Alliston, uh, especially for people, uh, yeah, any 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 people outside of Toronto that haven't seen me in a little while, I would be great to be seeing you there. Uh, so just stay tuned to Laughing Vikings and my social media, uh, or you can check out premiumcomedy.ca. We might have Chris, if he's available, we might have Chris Bonaparte on the show next week. Um, Chris has been a longtime stand-up. Uh, when I moved to Toronto, he was one of the first guys that started booking me for for his shows in, in general, but also for his um, headlining and paid spots too. Uh, it's always tough. Like when, no matter what you've done, you move to a new market, um, to a new city, nobody knows you. So it's you're really uh, grateful for those first few opportunities when someone says, "Yeah, you got the goods, kid. I'm going to put you on my show and give you give you stage time." Period. Like stage time in general as a stand up comic is is very precious. Uh, but then paid stand up time as you as you make that transition. Uh, and he was one of the first people that uh, did that with me through through his brand, Premium Comedy. So save the date, December 17th. I'm going to headline that show. It's in Newmarket at Sociable. Uh, Chris Bonaparte uh, will be performing as well. Uh, he may be hosting. Uh, I think often he hosts the shows. Uh, or he might just be doing a spot himself too. But shout out to Chris Bonaparte, Premium Comedy, December 17th. And uh, we're still booking our holiday shows for Laughing Vikings. We still got dates available in December and into January. So if you've got a holiday party, a work party, a private party, a, a stag and doe, a birthday party, any of those things, you can book Laughing Vikings. We'll customize the show anywhere from 30 minutes to 60 minutes to 90 minutes. You can have one comic, two comic, three comic, four, uh, whatever you're looking for. Go to uh, email us at laugh, uh, lol at laughingvikings.com or you can slip into the old DMs. Uh, we need to know a few things. People always ask, like, how much is a show? It's going to depend on the date. There's a difference between if it's midweek or a weekend, Friday, Saturday being the primo prime spots. Uh, also, it's going to depend on how many people in your audience. If it's a work thing for 3,000 people versus a private party for 15 people in your living room, uh, there's going to be a difference. Obviously, the corporate end and more people being uh, higher priced. Uh, and then any other special requests too. So if you're looking for a certain type of comic or you're looking for custom material, if you know that um, all of your audience is um, nurses, for example, and you want comedians geared to that or whatever the event might be, we can customize those for you. So just shoot us a DM. The schedule is filling up. I book a lot of shows with other uh, companies as well. Uh, so do you, Brandon, with Big Time Entertainment. We've got a ton of those dinner theater shows which are often corporate murder mysteries. Mm -hmm. um, but we're booking a lot of stand-up shows too. So if you're looking ahead, if you know, especially if you know someone, this is my shout out here. If you know someone at your work who's responsible for the holiday entertainment, you know the HR or the party planning committee, um, just get in their ear. Just give them a little, give them a little nudge, nudge. Say, hey, I know some people at uh, old Laughing Vikings, old Larzy boy, and I'll either host it and book other comedians. Or I'll come and headline it. Uh, and we've done some wacky stuff too, especially around the holidays. So uh, if you've got a holiday event coming up, just shoot us an email, lol at laughingvikings.com, or uh, hit me up in the DMs. Mm -hmm. and, and, but you got to reserve the date. So we would need to know the date. Tell me the date, uh, how many people in the audience, the type of event, uh, if you want anything custom made or, or custom customized for the event. Uh, and then I'll give you a quote, uh, which will also depend on whether you want 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or a full 90 minute show. So mm -hmm. we can do that for you. Mm -hmm. You got to get, they're selling like hotcakes. They're, uh, yeah, hotcakes. I feel, I feel like the people need to see a, a clip of you, Lars. Oh, yeah. You want to show a clip? I think we should show a clip. clip. Yeah. Show a clip. This is a clip of me doing stand up, is it? It is. All right. Let's uh, roll the clip. This is my impression about to be unveiled. This is my impression of a chicken 
Ghost's Impression of a Seal. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I, Lars Blasington, trained at Julie's Yard, will now unveil my impression of a chicken's impression of a seal. I need absolute silence. This is very dangerous. Please. My impression of a chicken's impression of a seal. <laughs> So as you can see, my shows are real political, real heavy hitting material, uh, real thinkers. You'll leave, you'll leave uh, thinking. Uh, but they'll quickly turn your event from a snooze fest to a smash success. I'm telling you, if anyone at your event was sleeping and then I bust out my impression of a chicken's impression of a seal, they will no longer be sleeping mm -mm. because it's loud and noisy. My favorite thing about doing that bit, uh, I mean, there's several favorite things. One of the things is just purely insane and ridiculous. Uh, so it's very fun to do for me. Um, but the first thing is seeing people start to realize what's happening. Like, as I say, this is my impression of a chicken. It's impression of a seal. Uh, and people are like, what the fuck? And, <laughs> and then I start the seal song, Seal Kiss from a Rose. And then I see it on people's faces. Or I see like neighbors, like if it's a couple, You'll see like one of them, the guy will be like, what the fuck is happening? And the girl will like lean, lean over to him and be like, oh, it's Kiss from a Rose. It's the seal song, Kiss from a Rose. He's a chicken doing the seal. Right? <laughs> and, then, and you see them get it. And then my um, third favorite thing is when I see the look in people's faces of, oh, I think he's going to do the whole song now. He's just, he's continuing with this. And I just don't stop till I've done the entire song. It's a beautiful yeah, ballad. Yeah. Beautiful tribute to Seal. Commit to the bit. Yes. Commit to yeah. the bit. He signed off on that, by the way. I have to give him 50% royalties for that. Ooh. I have to take the amount of the the amount I've been paid for the show. And yeah. if I do an hour headlining set and that bit is like, um, say it's called the whole thing five minutes, I got to send him one twelfth of my pay. Mm. 50% wow. of 112. 50% of 112? Okay. okay. As a royalty. Yeah, or if I do a, if the whole set's only five minutes and I only do the seal bit, then mm -hmm. I have to give them 50% of that entire pay for that entire show. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Rules. Yeah. Rules are rules. Yeah, yeah, rules are rules. I'm okay with it. I wouldn't have that bit without seal. It would be a different bit without that mm -hmm. seal. 